Hey, what's up guys, Ben Hess here, and today we're gonna to talk about three reasons why I think you should not go to film school, and if you stick till the end, I'm gonna share with you what I think you should do instead. So a quick backstory about myself. I'm 23 years old, and I'm a filmmaker and photographer full-time. I've always loved making movies since I was little, and I knew this is what I wanted to do as a full-time career. But as high school graduation rolls around, being a filmmaker, the big question is this, film school or no film school? So I'm gonna share with you why I opted out of film school and what to do instead. Number one, just about everything you can learn in film school, you can learn online. There are literally so many resources out there, especially from people who have had huge success in the filmmaking industry. So you have the internet, which has an abundance of resources out there as far as YouTube, tutorials, online classes, in-person workshops you can go to, you've got books, you've got podcasts, literally anything you wanna know, I feel you can learn online and it's all just a few clicks away and most likely only a few bucks or if not free. Reason number two, it costs a lot of money. I have numerous friends that have gone well over $100,000 in debt just to go to film school and in the end they said it probably wasn't worth it because a lot of that information they could have learned online. Yes, you may be getting access to some fancy gear and you're going to be surrounded by other filmmakers, but in reality that money that you spent on college could open up a ton of doors if you spent it elsewhere. Just imagine the amount of online courses and books you could buy, especially in-person workshops, all for a fraction of what it costs to go to a film school. And number three, a degree is not the defining factor of whether you get a job or not. It's who you know. I've asked just about every person I've met in the film industry how they got to where they are. And believe it or not, 99% of them say it's the friendships and the relationships that they've built and fostered over the years that have opened up the doors to where they are at now. Of course, you need to know the skills of the craft that you want to pursue, but again, it's who you know. So check this out. There's something called six degrees of separation. What does that mean? It means you have access to anyone in the entire world through five people or less. A good first step is to look around for other filmmakers and creatives in your general area and just interact with them, become their friend, comment on their you know, YouTube, their Instagram, social media, send them an email. The best thing you could do is create friendships that are mutually beneficial to each other. Just offer to help other people. And then soon enough, you're gonna be in their circle of influence and their friends, and you're all gonna grow together. So as promised, here's one of the best tips I can give you to help advance you in your career filmmaking. Are you ready? Because it's quick. Read do, succeed, and then repeat. Pick up a book from someone who has made it to where you wanna be and learn how they got there. Implement their life lessons and how they overcame the struggles that they faced. If there's one thing you need to take away from this video, it's that success leaves trails. You have to learn from the successful people and do what they did. And after you've read one book, pick up another book and keep doing it over and over again. And you're probably wondering which book do I start with? Well. Rebel Without a Crew. I'm going to post it below. It's great. Just read it. Trust me, you're going to learn a ton. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll respond to every single one. And until next time, see you guys.